Okay, hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math, and today I'd like to look at four math shortcuts or math tricks to save you a little bit of time, and they are practical and fun. The four tricks will be multiplying any number by 11, taking the square of a two-digit number ending in 5, multiplying by 4, and finally subtracting 1,000 by a number. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Say you have the problem 30, 11 times 32. What you can do instead of multiplying it out is simply spread the two numbers, then add the two numbers together for the middle digit. So 11 times 32 is 352. You can tell it's simple. You don't really have to do anything other than add. Again, 11 times 43, spread the two numbers out. 4 plus 3 is 7. And finally, I'd like to multiply 11 times 56 because it has a not an exception, but one rule you need to follow. I will spread the two digits out. 5 plus 6 is 11. Instead of writing the 11, you just write 1, then carry the 10 over. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So the final answer becomes 616. Okay, next up, let's look at squaring a two-digit number that ends in 5. Say we have 35 squared. Simply, all we do with this is multiply the first digit times the first digit plus 1, which is equal to 4. So that becomes 12 and then tack on a 25 at the end. Makes it really simple. Okay, next up, we have 65 squared equals 6 times 6 plus 1. 6 times 7 is equal to 42. Tack on the 25. Lo and behold, you have the answer 4,225. Let's work one more. 45 squared equals 4 times 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Tack on the 25. There's your answer. Okay, let's go ahead and look at multiplying by 4. Again, pretty. Uh, this should save you a little bit of time. It's just a little bit different way of thinking about it. Say you have 24 times 4. Instead of multiplying that out, I just simply take, take 24 times 2 plus 24 times 2. Well, I know 24 times 2 is 48 which means the one below it will be 48, which becomes 696. Okay, let's try this next one. Say we have 57 times 4. So I simply take 57 times 2 and 57 times 2. Now, obviously, you wouldn't have to write this out every time, but I am just so it's not confusing. 57 times 2, let's see, that's 14 and 10. Carry the 1, 1, 14. Multiply, add these two together, that becomes 228. And finally, this last trick is just kind of fun. I know it's easy whenever you have a thousand to subtract a number, but I think this is kind of fun. Say we have 1,000 minus 386. Basically what you do, you remember 9, 9, 10. So you take 9 minus the first digit, 9 minus the second digit, and then 10 minus the last digit. So here we go. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 8 is 1. 10 minus 6 is 4. So the answer is 614. Let me work one more example of those just so you can see how easy it is. Let's go with 491. 9 minus 4. 9 minus 9. 10 minus 1. That would be 609. Excuse me. That would be 509. Okay? Got to watch yourself when you're subtracting. Anyway, there's four tips or tricks. Thanks for watching Moo Moo Math. Please check our, uh, out our other videos and subscribe.